turn you had for a score. How'd you feel about your night's work? You know, I feel pretty good about it. You know, you can't complain with the, I mean, the numbers that we put up. And, you know, this team, you know, it's not all me. It's good to see other people score because, you know, I mean, when people say good game to me, it's really they should be saying good game to our linemen and everybody else because, you know, personally, I think I have, a, I have great game, but I only have great games because of them. So, I mean, my, my game is really dependent on them and how well they do. So, you know, I thought I had a really good game just because of them. Yeah, not a lot of people will come out and mention the offensive line first, but uh, it's impressive that you do. Tell us a little bit more about those guys blocking for you. <laughs> I've been following them since junior high. You know, it's a group that I really like, really like to run behind, you know, I'm extremely confident in them. You know, I've been following. I've been following them, like I said, since junior high, and I have the utmost confidence in them to do the job. Quite a year for you so far, and not exactly sure what you ended up with tonight as far as your rushing total. But I know you're getting close to a thousand for the season. What kind of goals do you have uh, for yourself on the ground? You know, just finish the season the best I can. You know, I'm not. I'm going out there every 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 game to do the best I can. You know, the total amount of yards to me. I mean, I I would like to uh, like to get more than I had last year, but you know, the, in in the end, I really just want to come out, win the game, and do my part on the team. The offense was strong a year ago. It's strong again this season. Do you feel like it's maybe a little bit more balanced, or in some ways better than you were la last year at this time? You know, I I feel like it. I I feel like it's better. But, and I feel like it's more balanced because, you know, with the athletes that we have in the receiver positions, we can throw a little more. And with, I mean, Tyler, I mean, he's got an arm. He can heave that thing 50, 60 yards, you know what I mean? So I think we're a lot more balanced and our pass blocking has gotten a lot better. So all around, we've just become a better team. Jake Mulford is our post-game guest here after Ottoman picked up a 60-6 to win over Riverside here in Week 6. We were talking with Josh Lang there before he handed off the headset to you, and he said he really tries to follow your example of hard work in the off season. What drives you to lift the weights and do what it takes to get better? You know, I just, you know, just making myself better. It's more of a pride thing anymore. You know, I just I don't want to be worse than I was. I want to make myself better and better, and I not just for myself, but I want to make the team better. And I see that if I make myself better, it helps the team out so much. And you know, I just my parents just inspired me to lift early and keep lifting and driving, driving, driving. You know, I just want to set a good example for the young kids just in the freshmen and sophomores coming up. You know, I just don't want to show them that you can't just work, not work at it and be as good as you possibly can. You can't just rely on natural talent. Being here at Riverside tonight it reminded me of your first varsity game as a sophomore where maybe some you played a little bit as a backup to Riley Jones and you did some punt returns. Just... Overall, how much uh, more comfortable do you feel out there on the field with the, the varsity experience you have at this point now? Uh, a, a lot, you know. I mean, lots of people say, you know, it's just about, you know, they don't really consider the experience you have. It's just more, are you good or not? But experience really comes into key. You know, it's really helped me a lot with my confidence and the way I run the ball. You know, I, my ball security has gotten a lot better since I've taken more hits. You know, I've just really worked on it. Logan and Magnolia, that loss a couple of weeks ago, how much has that driven this group to get better? Uh, ex an extreme amount because you know, we lost to him last year and we just we, we were gunning for him this year too and we ended up we had a good first half we ended up losing it after two straight turnovers and you know we just didn't want to feel like that again like Josh said you know we just using that as a drive to just keep keep getting better and better each week even with the team even with the team we know we're expected to be but we just got to improve each week to get where we want to be at the end of the year is it hard to not just sit back and wait and hope you see loma again or i mean is it hard to focus on each team every single week it, no no not, not, not it's it's pretty e easy to focus on each team because you know we preach that you can't worry about them, the other team. You got to worry about the team that we're coming up against. You know, you got to go by each week. Can't go by every other week. You can't just focus on week three weeks from now. Otherwise, you know, you're not gonna run the plays right against this team because each each team's different. You know, you got to focus on one team at a time. But as a competitor, as I know you are, and that wrestler mentality, do you want to see Loma again pretty bad? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I I I really ever since we lost to him last year, you know, I've been dying for a shot back at him. And after a loss again this year, you know, I'm just I'm really waiting for it, but you know, like like you said, there, like there's a lot of good teams out there. You know, I mean, there's a there's a huge there's a really big chance that we're going to see him again late in the playoffs. But you know, you never know what could happen. Well, Jake, thanks a bunch. Congratulations on the win here. Anything else you'd like to add about the victory or the way the team played here tonight? Uh, just that, you know, I got to give props to my own line. You know, they, they did a heck of a job. I can't cannot complain. And if anybody did, I'd have to, I'd 
I'd really have to yeah, talk some sense into them because there's nothing wrong that those guys do. I mean, they're the heart and, they're the heart and soul of this team. They're, they're the ones that make it all work. All right, Jake, congratulations.